Howdy. My name is Arvita Scott. I currently serve as the Greg County Extension Agent for 4-H and Youth Development here in Longview, Texas. I would like to welcome you to our first Positively Professional Development Timely Tips for New and Tenured Extension Professionals in Leadership, Technology, Teamwork, Mentoring, and Work-Life Balance. And today's session is going to cover techie tools for the extension educator. Let me first say, I am not an expert, but what I am is a lifelong learner. So I'm learning this new way of engaging a broader audience, new audience through some techie tools. So I would like to take and just share some time with you to invite you to learn some of the things that I've had a chance to learn and I'm still learning. So let's go. So as we get started, uh, one of our main objectives uh, is going to be for our Positively Professional Development with the Techie Tools is you're going to learn how to use these Techie Tools to promote and implement programs to engage your target audience and expand your reach using social media platforms. And so there, there are various uh, platforms, but we're going to focus on using YouTube. And you're going to see why in just a moment. I will also I'll get a chance to introduce to you uh, Zoom as well as Windows 10, it, you know, that's on our laptop. So we're going to just kind of use some of the things that that uh, we we pretty much have at, at our disposal on a daily basis, like our laptop, cell phones. OK, so when we look at social media platforms and we look at some of the, the data that's shared on dataporter.com, we see that Facebook is like the most popular social media platform where information and videos is shared, photos is shared. And so even it says here in 2020, as well as 2021, we had over 2 million people that actually get on Facebook and use it to share information and so many other things uh, and to just communicate with uh, a particular audience. And so we have here, there's 3.5 billion social media users worldwide. And like I stated, Facebook is the most popular social media platform. It, the, the statistics tells us that 90, a little bit over 90% of millennials, 75% of generational X, as well as 48.2% of baby boomers are active social media users. And so users often spend about an average of three hours per day on social media and messaging. So with that said, I'm um, just going to introduce you, you know, to um, YouTube, because most of us, we have Facebook pages and, and things of that nature that personal Facebook pages. We even have Facebook pages for our, our county program, and we use Facebook to pretty much market, you know, our programs with flyers, with photos. And so many of us are very, very familiar with Facebook. However, there may be some who are new to YouTube. Uh, this may be a review uh, for some, uh, but new to others. And so we're going to introduce YouTube because it is the second, it is the second, second, second um, most popular social media uh, platform that she used to what? To, to share information, you know, share photos, share videos. And so we're going to kind of work with some of the tools that are right there at our disposal, you know, on how we can get to a point to where we can start using our YouTube, uh, creating an account, not only just creating an account, but also being able to create a channel and have some information on how we can also edit our videos um, as we upload them to YouTube, but we're going to first start off, we're going to first start off looking at basically how to record a video using our Windows 10, which is pretty much on our laptop. And so we're going to record a video, uh, like I said, using a laptop. And basically all that is, is you start with the Windows key 
uh, and, and, it, and you open it at the start menu, which is typically at the bottom of your screen on your laptop at the bottom left. And so you just pretty much uh, click there, open that up to start your menu, and then you search for your camera and then you launch it. And after you launch your camera, you know, with the camera, you're going to be able to have an option where you can take photos or you can record yourself uh, speaking about a program or, like I said, sharing information with your audiences. And then on there, you're going to be able to, like I said, you can either select photo or you can select recorder with the option to record. And so when we look at um, the the photos here that's on the slide, the first step, when you get there, you will see right here where there is a, a video recorder. There's also an option for you to take photos, but on that video recorder, you can actually start, you can record and you can stop recording whenever you finish. Then we go to the second stage. When you're ready and, and your settings and your focus and everything is ready for you to record, you just click that record button to start your video. And then the third thing you do, you might want to pause or you might want to stop. And so you will also be able to do that right there on the right side of your screen. Also, you'll notice in the center, there's time. It will actually calculate and keep up the time of your video for you. And then that last and final step, you will, you will, uh, which is the fourth step, you will see in that bottom right corner, your recording. You can click on there and then you will be able to see your recording of, of what you been, uh, of what you recorded. And so that's just an easy way to use your laptop to record a video. And you're gonna see why that's important to record your video because you'll have to upload it in YouTube a little bit later. Not only do you have, not only do, can you use your laptop, but you can use your cell phone. Those of you who have iPhones, you have iPads, you can also use those computer devices to record your video. So let's move on. So now that uh, we've kind of gone over Windows and how to record a video using our very own Windows, uh, app and our camera app uh, on our on our laptop. We just kind of I just want to kind of show you and share with you a little video that I was just playing with as I was learning how to record the videos. And so this is a, a D5 ESP recruitment video. So let's take a look and watch. Howdy, my name is Arvita Scott. I am the Proud County Extension Agent for 4-H and Youth Development here in Grid County. That is Longview, Texas. And guess what? I would like to extend an invitation to you. Yes, you. I'm talking about you, Ag and Natural Resource County Extension Agent. I'm talking about you, Family and Community Health Extension County Extension Agent. And yes, I'm talking about you, Specialist. I'm talking about you, 4-H Agent. I'm talking about you, DEAs. I'm talking about all all the extension professionals out there, I want to extend this hearty invitation for you to join our D5 ESP, that is Epsilon Sigma Phi a Professional Association. Come and join us as we take this venture and we lead the charge in learning about professionalism and learning and networking and coming together to talk about how we can build better programs uh, for our county, for our youth, for our adults, for our clients, and most importantly, how we can grow as professionals in this line of business. Oh yes, do we need growth? Oh yes, we need growth. We need to be cultivated. We need to be nourished. Oh yes, every now and then we need a little sunlight so we can have some fun just like we would a garden. Yeah. So come join us. Come join our professional association. First timers, it's only $55. And guess what? If you're going to renew your membership, we're talking about 80 bucks. Oh yes. Come and join us. Thank you. Awesome. So you got a chance to see the result of a video that I was able to create using my laptop, the Windows app, the camera, and the recorder right there sitting in my office. And you're going to see how that video was uploaded into our YouTube on our YouTube channel so that, hey, we could go back and refer to it. We could use it. We could send it to somebody who, who's interested in joining our D5 ESP chapter. So, hey, what do you think about it? Think it was okay? Uh, I think it was okay. So let's keep moving. 
So when we look at YouTube, when we look at YouTube, YouTube is a video, it's a free video sharing website, and it makes it easy to watch a lot of online videos. You can even create and upload your own videos to share with others. And that's kind of what we want to do. We want to create a what we call a YouTube channel. So we can upload videos of our programs, we can upload information, and we can actually, once we do that, you will see how YouTube will actually generate a link that can you can send out to your audience and they'll be able to get a chance to watch a program or learn uh, some things that maybe you want to teach, something different that you want to engage your audience in. They'll get a chance to watch it on video. What? At home, they can watch it in their car, on their cell phone. So they have the leisure of watching it whenever they want to, and they'll be able to refer to it using that link. And it's pretty amazing. And so um, hopefully we can, like I said, we can continue to navigate through this and we can learn and pick up some, some neat tricks on how we can start a YouTube channel. Also, I'm gonna be introducing to you Zoom, just like I'm presenting right now. I'm actually recording this on Zoom. It's another type of platform, but it's a cloud-based video communication app that allows us to set up virtual videos, audio conferencing, webinars, live chats, screen sharing, and other collaborative capabilities. You will also have the opportunity to create breakout rooms, record your, yourself, and then you could be able to upload that into your YouTube channel. And guess what? YouTube will develop a link that you can send out to your audience. And so this is just, like I said, some techie tools that we can use in order to expand our reach and in order to engage our audience into our programs. Okay, so now that we've kind of introduced to get the most out of YouTube, you'll need to sign in with a Google account. And if you want to upload videos, you'll also need to create a YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to get a Google account and use it to sign into YouTube and create a YouTube channel. Keep in mind that a Google account and a YouTube channel are not exactly the same thing. If you have a Google account, you can use it to sign into YouTube to like videos and subscribe to your favorite creators. When signed in, you'll also get personalized video recommendations based on your activity. Having a YouTube channel lets you upload your own videos and gives you a public presence on YouTube. If you already have a Google account, you can use it to sign into YouTube. Just enter the email address that you would use for other Google products. For example, if you have a Gmail account, use that email address and password when you sign in. If not, you can easily create a Google account directly from YouTube. Start by going to youtube.com or opening the YouTube app. If you're on a computer, click Sign In, then click Create Account. From here, you'll be asked to fill in your information. If you're on a mobile device, select the profile picture icon and then tap Sign In. You'll see a plus sign which you can select to add an account. Choose Create Account from the sign-in page. Now that you're signed in, there's a lot you can do. You can like and dislike videos, save videos to watch later, subscribe to your favorite channels, manage your watch history, or flag videos that you don't think should be there. And more. The more you watch and interact with videos, the better your recommendations will get. Once you're signed into YouTube, you can also create a YouTube channel. This is how all of your favorite YouTube creators got started. And you can too. To get started, try any action that requires a channel, such as uploading a video, posting a comment, or creating a playlist. If you don't have a channel yet, you'll see a prompt to create one. And who knows, you might be the next big YouTube star. If you'd like to learn more about getting started on YouTube, check out the links in the description below. And that's it. Subscribe for more YouTube tips and tricks. All right. Right there, 
awesome information on how to create a YouTube account and a YouTube channel. So I hope you was able to gather that information. And, and if you need to watch it again, you can also, like I said, you'll be able to play it. You'll be able to use the link that's to the right and also go to it and watch it again. So hopefully you got a chance to learn some neat tricks on how to create the YouTube account and the, and the channel. Awesome. So let's keep moving. So now we're gonna look at how to edit YouTube videos. In this video, we'll show you how you can do some simple edits to your videos when using YouTube on a computer. To get started, go to YouTube Studio and click Videos. Choose the video you'd like to make changes to, then go to Editor. You can choose to trim the start or end of your video, or cut out parts in the middle. To trim the beginning or end, click Trim. You'll see a blue bar at each end of the video. Hover your mouse over the blue bar until it turns white. Now you can drag to the part you want to keep. Click Preview to see the edited video. If you'd like to make further adjustments, click Edit Trim. If you'd like to keep your changes, click Save, then Save again in this window. It may take a few hours for YouTube to update your video. Now we'll show you how to trim in the middle of your video, like this part. To get started, click the starting point where you want to trim, then click Trim. Now select Split. Drag the white bar to the point where you want the video to start again. By the way, you can trim multiple parts in one video. Once you're set, click Preview. Like before, if you want to make additional changes, click Edit Trim. Once you're finished, click Save Twice. Check out other videos in our YouTube Studio series here. That was just a quick tutorial on how to edit your YouTube video. Again, you, there's a link there for you to use so that you can watch it and continue to familiarize yourself on those amazing steps. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to use Here's how to use Zoom on both desktop and mobile. For desktop, first we will show you how to use Zoom via your browser. There is also an app available for both PC and Mac, which we will show you later. Once you are in your browser, navigate to the Zoom website. There you can sign up for a free account. Once your account is created and you are logged in, click on My Account. At the top, you will see options for scheduling, joining, and hosting meetings. If you are scheduling a meeting, you will fill out a form where you will choose the meeting topic and description, as well as set the date and time. You will also have the option to schedule it as a recurring meeting. Edit all of your details, and when you are done, click Save. On the Desktop app, click the Meetings tab. You'll find a small plus symbol on the left panel. Click this to begin scheduling a new meeting. This will open a form that looks similar to the browser version. Enter the meeting name, date, and time. Click the blue Schedule button to create and save the future event. Scheduled meetings will now appear on the left-hand side. In the mobile app, tap the Schedule option at the top of the screen. Enter the meeting name and set its date and time. Then tap Done. This will bring you to another form, which adds the event to your mobile calendar. Verify the information. You can now add invitees. On the Zoom website, you can click Join a Meeting at the top. This will prompt you to enter the meeting ID or personal link name. Click Join to begin the call. If someone sent you an invite link, click to open the link in your preferred browser. If you happen to have the app installed, your browser will ask permission to open the app, along with audio and video access. If someone invites you to a current meeting and you have the mobile app installed, your device will ring and you can join the call by answering. If you know your meeting name or ID, tap Join on the app's Meet and Tap home screen. 
Enter the meeting ID and then tap Join. If you are joining via a link sent to you on mobile, tapping on the link will open your browser app. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, you'll be prompted to do so at this time from the App Store or Play Store. If you have the app downloaded already, give Zoom permission to open the app. After providing audio and video access, you will join the call on your mobile device. Now that you know how to schedule and join meetings, let's take another look at using Zoom with a browser. On the left-hand side, you will find a variety of options, including your profile. This is where you can change your profile picture, edit your email or password, and make other changes in the settings section. You'll also find the option to sign out of Zoom on all of your devices at the bottom of this page. Below your profile tab, you'll find a summary of your meetings. You can start or delete upcoming meetings in this space. Other tabs on the left-hand side include webinars, recordings, and your settings. The webinar feature can only be enabled if you pay for an account. And if you want to record, it will direct you to enable this feature for you and your meeting participants. More advanced settings are towards the bottom of the left panel, including managing users and rooms. All of these options are more streamlined in the desktop app. There are four main tabs at the top of the screen, Home, Chat, Meetings, and Contacts. The Home tab gives you the option to start a new meeting, join a current call, schedule a future event, or share your screen. If you have any upcoming meetings for the day, you'll also find them in a checklist on the right-hand side. To access your settings, you can click your profile in the top right-hand corner, or you can click on the gear icon. The chat tab keeps track of any conversations you have between contacts. You can star or favorite conversations for easy access or browse through your recent ones. You'll also find contact requests if anyone has requested to join your directory. Additionally, any shared files between contacts will appear in the Files section. The Meetings tab shows a summary of any upcoming meetings organized by date. You may also toggle between upcoming and recorded meetings at the top or click the plus sign to schedule a new one. Click on any pre-existing meeting to view options to start it early, copy the invitation, edit, or delete it. Lastly, the Contacts tab keeps track of the colleagues and classmates you add to the platform. View contact information by browsing through the left-hand categories, starred, external, and cloud contacts. You can also click to view any channels, which are groups of contacts, to help organize your activities. Click the plus sign to add a new contact or channel. And here are some final things to know about the mobile app. The main tabs are found at the bottom meet and chat, meetings, contacts, and settings. Within meet and chat, you will find new meeting, join, schedule, and share screen. Meetings shows a lineup of upcoming events. You can also start a call, send an invitation, or edit a current event at the top of the page. Your personal meeting ID is your unique code to start an individual meeting. Tap on an upcoming meeting to view its details or delete it entirely. You'll also find the option to add invitees and send invitations to those contacts via email or text message. Contacts looks extremely similar to the desktop version and lists your starred favorites as well as any others in your company directory. Search for contacts at the top of the page. Tap the plus symbol in the top right corner to open a pop-up menu to add a contact, create a new channel, or join a public one. You can also toggle between contacts and channels at the top. Keep a lookout on our channel for more helpful tech tutorials. Well, awesome. Great information on how to use Zoom. I am currently using Zoom and I particularly, I like, I like using Zoom because I can actually share my presentation. I can record like I am doing now. And not only that, after the recording uh, of the presentation, Zoom will generate a video for you, that video can be uploaded to YouTube and then you can go in and if you want to edit, you can edit it in YouTube and YouTube will generate a link that can be sent out and are emailed out. So anyone in your audience, in your county or whoever you would like to share your video with of the awesome information, awesome program uh, that you are talking about or teaching, 
And so there's so many capabilities, uh, so many things that you can do with the Zoom. So I would just encourage you to look at the video over again and just kind of work through it. How Now there is a portion of the Zoom um, platform that is free. But then if you want to uh, learn about the, nav the um, advanced settings, there is a cost. Uh, myself, I personally, I pay $14.99 uh, a month because I, I, it's just something that I choose to do because I really like um, all the capabilities that I can use in order to um, engage my audience, engage my volunteers, have my meetings, as well as I'm able to uh, go in and with some of the classrooms or some of my schools and get a chance to work with those kids and teach those kids sitting right from my office. And so, and yes, those are some things that you can do with a free account as well. And so as you navigate and as you uh, learn, you will see all the different type of prices and different things um, that you may want to choose or you may want to just create a free account and that will be fine as well. So when we go to the next slide, all right, I just want to take this opportunity to, um, just, want to just want to take an opportunity to just show you a little of the work with how uh, using cell phone, using uh, iPhone, I iPad and uh, being able to create a video and um, want to introduce you to Miss Bling Bling. Uh, she, Miss Bling Bling uh, is an extension um, professional uh, and, uh, and a character that we just want to play play with, you know, just imaginary char character. And she's interested in joining the D5 ESP. And this is just a collaboration of all the things that you've watched and learned um, throughout the presentation. And uh, let, me, let me make this disclaimer. Please turn your volume up as high as it can so that, so that you can be able to hear. Well, hello there. My name is Miss Bling Bling. And I'm looking for the new D5 committee recruitment and retention chair. I do believe her name is, I think they told me it, something in rhymes with Velveeta, Denitra, Devita, uh, uh, Arvita. Uh, but anyways, if anybody can direct me to where she is, I am very interested in joining the new D5 Epsilon Sigma Phi, the ESP organization. I hear it's a professional organization and I hear they're doing great things and they're leading the charge. And you know, I've been an extension professional for many, 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 many years. And so therefore, I think it's time for me to join an organization that that is excellent and an organization that takes pride in developing their professionals. I think I'm ready. So if anybody can let Miss, um, I think it's Davida, let her know that Miss Bling Bling is waiting. Thank you, Miss Bling Bling. Thank you. Thank you. I am so glad that you joined our D5 ESP professional organization. I'll see you at the next meeting. Hello, everybody. My name is Arvita Scott. I have the privilege of serving as the county extension agent with 4 h and Youth Development here in Gregg County. Longview, Texas, right here in the heart of Longview, Texas. Yes. And I also have the opportunity of serving as your D5 ESP membership recruitment and retention committee chair. And I also have some awesome colleagues that's helping me, Miss Mandy Patrick, Miss Corey Alvarada, and soon to be with D5 ESP, Miss Shaniqua Davis. And so guess what? We want to take an opportunity to invite you to join our D5 ESP Professional Association. It's an organization that's planning to do great, positively professional development programs. It's going to empower us. It's going to help grow our leadership. And guess what? We'll get a chance to connect with other extension professionals and then go out and be able to better serve our Texans uh, that we are helping each day. And so come along, first-time members, $55. If you want to renew your membership, $80. And so guess what? Yes, we have room for you. We have room for you to join in with us. Our director is Ms. Claudine Jones. 
that she's there. She's an FCH agent there in Smith County. So we'll be happy to have you. Thank you. All right, so you got a chance to kind of see a video that was put together using uh, the uh, iPad. Yes, so those of you who have iPads, iPhones, um, you can actually use that to record uh, your video. And then after I did that, I was able to upload that in YouTube. Uh, and I also, now I did some editing. I did do some editing in, in, the, in uh, the iMovie uh, with, with the iPad, but also once uploading that, I was able to do a little bit more editing uh, in the YouTube. So you get a chance to kind of see how you can play with it, have some fun with it, and you know, put a quality video together that you would want to share with your audience. Okay, so with that said, I want to encourage everybody and let you know, guess what, we can do this. That's why we're doing our Positively Professional uh, Development Techie Tools, and there are going to be many other uh, different type of um, uh, leadership videos and different things that's going to be done, different Techie Tools it, uh, videos that's going to be done at a later date. But I just want to encourage us that, yes, we can do it. Stick, sticking together and learning and communicating and collaborating, we can do this. And finally, in closing, I have a Positively Professional Techie Tools Session Tip Sheet that's going to be uploaded or going to be emailed to you that you can use to kind of give you a little bit more detailed information, especially on how to get started with um, YouTube and how to create your YouTube channel. There is a wealth of information that you can use um, doing this from a computer, doing this from an Android phone, doing this from an iPhone. And then there are six steps. Once you create that YouTube channel to share your video content, you activate your channel, you pick your channel art, you customize your channel, you upload your video, you create a channel trailer, and then you promote your new channel. And so you'll get a chance to see that as we do our Q&A in about another week. And so even with Zoom, there's information on the on the tip sheet that you could go to the to the uh, website and learn about more of the the videos, the tutorial videos, the resources that will help you answer all of your questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me as we just kind of went over and navigated through some techie tools that we can use in order to promote our program, in order to engage our audience, and. I mean, most importantly, guess what? We expand our reach. We can reach more people, you know, with online platforms such as YouTube. And so thank you for your time. And I really, really hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon. Again, thank you for joining the ESP uh, Positively Professional session that we did on Techie Tools. So glad you joined me. Have a great day.